Um, good morning, you guys. Don't know if it'll be good morning when you guys watch this, but it is only 8.57 here. So, or this morning, right now. So, I decided to do, because last night I was washing my brushes, and I realized that I have a set of brushes that I really, really like that I've never really talked about, like not even the brand or mentioned. I think I mentioned it once in a video, but I've never fully talked about them. So I was like, why haven't I made a video already, you know? So that's what I'm going to be talking about today. Kind of like a little product trade because I do really, really like these brushes. Don't have anything bad to say about them. And their first one that I ever bought, so this was like my first purchase from them. And the website is abamart.com. I'll put a link for it down below and a link to all these brushes. But the, it's the, the brand called Bomi. And this is their dual fiber stippling brush. Now, when I first got this, it was like my favorite foundation brush ever. It was like my first foundation brush ever. And of course, it was my favorite because it was my first. And it was just my favorite. I love the way it applies foundation and stuff. But I guess now what I prefer is a more fuller coverage. So I like to use like a flat top brush or whatever. So this one I've started to use for powder like when I set my powder because it is a stippling brush it doesn't apply powder too heavily um, you know and it just kind of gives you like a nice natural finish I do have the short handle brushes don't know why I have the short handle brushes but I guess that's what I bought when I ordered and stuff and excuse my bed I haven't even done it um, it's like early in the morning so yeah and I like all of these brushes I think this was like maybe four dollars um, like I said, I'll put the link for them in the bottom bar, but it's just like an awesome stippling brush, you know, so this is the first one The next ones I have three other ones to show you and I got these all at the same time And this is their extra large powder brush again. Don't know why I have the short handle I guess I like short handles when I order them. I know I've had this one since last year but I don't remember if I bought the next three this year, like early this year or last year. I don't remember. But, so this one, again, is our large powder brush. And they're all like super duper soft and like amazing quality. I never really sat back and thought about these brushes too much. I just kind of used them. But, like I've had them for almost a year now. And like... Their handles are just like, they're nice and kind of like heavy, like the brush has like a good weight to it. And just like the way they're made and stuff and everything here, like the handle is like made really well. Like they're not cheapy for, cheapy, cheap. They're not like cheap brushes, you know what I mean? They're like inexpensive, but they're not cheaply made, you know what I mean? Like they're amazing quality, which was kind of what made me want to make this video because... I love the brush, like the actual, you know, bristles and stuff, but then I love the quality of the actual brushes, like a lot. And this is the one I like to keep in my purse, like my little makeup bag, just when I want to touch up and stuff with like powder or whatever. The next one is just a little, like, um, you know, lash comb, eyebrow brush type thing. And they all have their little name on it. This is Boo Make. This is the only one I have in a full like handle size but it is like a little small one I've never used this because I don't need it yet but I do have other ones and this is kind of like a backup that I bought but again like really good quality like and then the last one that I have is their flat top luxury kabuki brush and this one looks like this this one is my favorite just because it's a kabuki brush and it's like really really big like you can see how big it is and it's like super soft and it's dense but it's not stiff you know what I mean like some brushes will be dense but then they're kind of stiff but this one is like dense but it's like really soft and I like to keep this one on my vanity and whenever I'm doing my eyeshadow this is what I use to dust away like any fallout or anything I also use this when I want to touch up like any powder on my face and what I really really like about it is the handle like the size of the little handle here because like for instance on my elf kabuki brush this is the elf kabuki brush the handle is really small and like you could see the difference see how this one's like way bigger um it just makes it to where like it's just perfect to hold and really easy i don't know i really like it and i really like that it's like huge this one was about eight dollars or something which is not bad for like a really nice you know kabuki brush or whatever 
So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Those are the only brushes I really have to talk about. And again, the brand is Bow Make. Um, this website that I got them from does sell like other types of brushes as well as like eyeshadow brushes from um, this brand. But I've never tried any of their eye brushes because I have so many that I don't need more. But I might end up trying them and stuff just because I really do like the ones that I already own. So, you know, why not try something else? And there is going to be a coupon code for this website in the info box below. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's like Hello10. I'll put an annotation somewhere. But, yeah, and I'll put the link to all these brushes in the bottom bar. I just thought, like, why haven't I ever reviewed these, you know, or talked about them at least because... I really really like them and as I'm talking to you guys I'm like going like this like non-stop um, but yeah so I just thought I would give you guys a quick review on something that I really like that I kind of feel like I've kept to myself long enough um, but yeah that is pretty much it if you guys have any questions or anything please let me know and I will talk to you guys later